speed runner who paces it nicely. Everyone realising that Joaquim Cruz, the new find, the poor boy from Brasilia, that really has had Sepco's record in his sights, who ran so magnificently to win the Olympic title in Los Angeles, uh, that if the pace is right, if he can run just under 50 seconds, that there is a very good chance that that record might fall to him. So Joaquin Cruz tucks in in second, James Robinson in third, Sammy Koske of Kenya in fourth, and then Johnny Gray, who we've already seen run a very fine 800 metres. He's taken through, the time is right, 49.53. When Seb Coe set his world record, the time at 400 metres was 49.74. Now watch it as Giesing keeps going as long as possible. He's a very good uh, West German 400 metre runner. And now it's down to Cruz, who loves to front run. He said the only way he was going to get recognised was being out in front. And look at the company he's got as Koskai, that much improved Kenyan runs with him. Also, he's got uh, James Robinson and he's got Johnny Gray. And now it's a race against the clock. Remember the time, 1.41.73. And when Seb Coe set it in 1981, he was light years ahead of the rest of the world. Now he's got a pretender to the throne who comes so, so close and must surely have it in his sights for next season. This is his last European run. Watch the clock. He really does miss it only by the barest fraction. 141. 7 6. 1 hundredth of a second. And that really is a couple of inches. The second fastest run of all time. And look at Koskai, too. A brilliant run from him. And if they get together next season, then that record must surely fall.